And hello everybody, Carl is back with another Aeronautica video. We're here at Radang International Airport, or Radang, whatever you like to pronounce it as. And from the previous video, we've been covering this Mikoyan Gurevich MiG Watsat Deviat with a NATO report name of Fulcrum. So this used to have the Royal Malaysian Air Force livery, and now it's been remodeled. <laughs> the livery is just gone. It's all gray. Right then. <laughs> So let's now proceed with the more detailed customization of this Soviet era fighter jet. You can add a drop tank. And on the inner wing pylon, you can add more drop tanks, missiles, the Takar Tritsat Odin Air. Or is it Tritsat Odin Pe? Oh, yes, it's. A, well, there's an R and there's a P, so yeah, it's Katritsat Odin Pe, Krypton. Or this missile here, the El Dotsat Sem. Yeah, the Alamo. And you can add this more adder. If it's a for yeah, the export ones. Don't the exports get the adder? And also the El Sendesia three M, your seventy three M. Also air to air missile. Yeah, M because it's mid wing, inner wing, and here's the outer wing. More Sendesiat 3, Air Sendesiat 3. Alright. You can also customize it to have the sub variant. So this is the 9.12A, then there's the 9.13S, 13S. Or this, you can add more range to it basically. The 9.19 SMT spec, it's probably for info programs as well. And you can add the refueling probe as the previous. Yeah, that's only the Malaysian and the later Russian variants. Possibly the Indian Air Force have these things. And that's it. The newly remodeled Mikoyan Gurevich MiG Dwatsat Deviat. MiG 29. All right then. Now let's go back to the Super Hornet. It's not Harden. There we go. So you can see here, this is the FA8, F18, A18F. That's a double seater. And hang on. Does this supposed to have the
that thing on the back, the tail hook. Is there an option for the tail hook? Maybe they'll add it on the next update. But yes, the you can customize it with more. So, but the to get to the point, this is the A18F. But if we spawn it on free flight, will it be A18F? And it says A18E. Oh, really? When will they start renaming <laughs> scheme? <laughs> Alright, so. So here's the air brake. Pressing the T key. And if we press the Y key, it should be the air brake. Oh, no, not the air brake. The, the tail hook. Which is non-existent. The C variant has a tail hook, while well, this one doesn't. Or it's sh supposed to have it. Oh no, let's see then. Wait, is that the tail hook? No, that's not the tail hook. Alright, so there's... That's about it. It'll still be named an E. In the menu and above your plane while on flight. It's an E. Let's see if it goes the same with the F 15. So I will craft a McDonald Douglas. Here it is F 15C. Oh, I have hundreds of these. <laughs> Alright, let's craft it. Since I already have a Strike Eagle and a Active. Let's make a new one. So let's make the parameters. Right, 158, 162, 163, then we'll make it 03. So 158, okay, 162, 163, delete button, or, oh yes, we can make this, uh, darker. This will be 158 as well. Repaint. Now, once again, you can add the drop tanks for extra range. And on the sides, you can, uh, missiles. And you can add the drop tank there. We don't need that. There's some conformal fuel tanks or more anti air missiles. We'll go for the tanks, and you can make it a single-seater or double-seater. We'll make this a double-seater for the purpose of this section of the video, and we can make this a lit one. So let's purchase, and it'll still be F-15C on the title, and it's a free flight. It's also a C. Okay, so it's titled C. Well, this looks like a D variant because of the, <laughs> of the cockpit. Right then, let's despawn. All right then. So there's been around <laughs> this version here. It's one point one hundred forty point zero point five. So there's at most five patches done. 
And according to the update note, it's a soft locking issue. Right then, so let's see what this fuzzy search engine So if we type Boeing on the search box, you get all the Boeing model planes. In addition, oh my goodness, why is it? Now you don't know why it's called fuzzy, so... This is the last Boeing entry, and while well, it's still Boeing, you get its body, probably, and then Bombardier, then Borame, then Beriev, then Boat, Bozone, either it's Beaver or Bush Plane, and again, Bombardier or Business, and that's it. The search is so fuzzy this time. Alright then, so... What's next? All right, let's <laughs> let's search for a seven six seven three hundred ER into the maintenance menu, and here's some of the full liveries. And now they integrated the advanced customization, and I'll give you an example here. Here's an in-game cannon on the airline called Rapidjet. I'll give you winglets, G engines. Doors. And then Bakunia International wedge sheet. It has no winglets. It still uses G engines. And then there's Coin International with winglets. The wing format is still the same though. And a Syrian. It also uses GE engines. There's plug door. Compared to the Iconian. There's not not the extra door there. The Assyrian has the extra door, plugged mercy door. And here's the Charter Airline Mini, where it doesn't have the emergency doors, but there's three big doors and one small door. Point creativity. <laughs> Okay, what engine is this GE as well? So we certainly have GE, Mini is GE. Well, all of them use GE engines. The other airlines will get either Proud Whitney or Rolls Royce. And that's for the curated deliveries with advanced customization. Alright then, to the normal Hornet, 
you hear it Hermera sound. Here's my second. It has the configuration there. And let's All right, let's try this out and see what this new aerobatic smoke looks like. So the old smoke at aircraft white, transparency at 0.8 T8, size is 0.13 to 0.5. Let's right then. Let's start off. By doing a few <laughs> runs and let's grab this present. Turn on the navigation lights. Let me confirm with the volume at the lowest. Mm -hmm. Right then, let's. Let's taxi to the runway. Well, we get that present. There's the throttle, round three. Oh, come on, it's still tripping. Break, break. All right. So as we take off, we will Enable the wingtip smoke. <laughs> oh, it just spawned again. Let's let's grab that present. <laughs> Good timing. It's a Basler R three. Right then, let's let's align with the runway. And off we go. Present the peak right over here. The boat part four. All right, then let's the present still floating, and yes. Fast one in here. We get to the fourth of the cows. Let's make it as accurate as possible. Oh, come on! And then, a oh, crud. After multiple runs, this is still happening. The fighter crash. When going more than 270 knots. It's still happening. Aren't they going to fix this? Please fix this. As well as this tripping issue. 
and just let the entire Himera sound be remodeled ASAP. Right. Let's try again. This time we will make a full run from here, then to Castle Adol. But we should be slower. <laughs> right. Oh, yes. So this should have... Okay. Zero jobs. Is this a glitch or something? Can I press begin? And there's nothing. Alright, let's go back to the runway. And we're tripping again! Activate the smoke, then the afterburners. This time, we'll go less than 270 knots. while grabbing the present. We have an Antonov Asorok. Party. Let's grab the present and then these cow herd. Them up again. Oh, I should disable the little difference. Got past the petrol rig four. Now let's descend to Castle Owl.
cars were below Mach 1 speed. Now we can safely traverse the presence. Number, number one. Behind the airport. So Rapier, part five. Should be here. Air brake. Dasso Falcon Vachete. Air brake. It was at eight hundred seven hundred twenty cross step lead. Got it, boss. Probably dry spy. one and there's the other I think that's all yeah I'm sure Kyushu G7W2 Barato Sun <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Hammer Sound after this last present The Sukhoisu Yatesyatsen Part 3 Go back to Hamara, which heading we're going to is 196. Right, afterburners.
and the contrails. Look at that. And then... Let's ascend to Hammer Sound. Here's the Hornet, it also has the tail hook. Super Hornet seems to have not the tail hooks, but of course. Winds at 23 degrees. I have to land from the south. Disable smoke. Landing gears. Down. Oh, it's on the other side. 
Number six. Well, better than nothing. And uh, <laughs> right, we can just despawn over here. The runway is just too short for this one. Let's repair and then grab this present. For the third time. But let's use this approach. From behind. While we do that. Statistics. And for comparison, Super Hornet. And the Growler. Oops, that's not supposed to be there. Get going. All right, another Osaroff part. spot in this hangar and we can't get in. We'll shut down. Okay, let's final test. Air brake still good. Tail hook still good. We'll despawn here. Right. <laughs> that was the Hornet. We start overhauling this. All right then. <laughs> Now, I think I've missed one more boat. Oh yes, that little guy. So, the last boat should be 
Oh, Titanium, I still have your Mooney. <laughs> right, let's move to the vehicle. At Tom's totally legitimate cabana. And the Chassis Container Vessel. Let's wait for this to spawn. Oh, there we are. It's basically... Some African tug... Not a tugboat. Yeah, an African motorboat. With a container box. You can add color to this. So color 2 is the middle. Color 1 is the top. The trim. The trim. And color three is the bottom. And the tip. Bottom and tip. Here we go. So color one, color two, color three. The Jazzy Container Vessel. What a clever place to buy this. Thought it was African, but why put it on a obscure airport in a South America like setting? South American setting, and then. Is this African or you decide? That's the overlooked. Right then. And this is the <laughs> if you want to know where the cabana is, you can use these pyramids as the guide. You should be looking at these cones. But if you want to be more precise, the radar. So this is on the laws. This is Grafoso. And what's this RA here? Hmm. All right, so yes, this is on the law. Right, so there we go. This is so birth eye view. This is Don Saba Airfield. Over there is on the laws. And this should be Grafoso. No, is this Kaitir or maybe Yeah, this one. Yeah, this is Grafoso. 
I guess this is Kytir or Well, I've never been to this airport. And you can see that's Kantaloa. Yeah, so the nearest airport is, is Don Saba Airfield, and you can just use this pyramid as the guide. And you should be seeing these cones. We should, shouldn't mistake you as anything else but the runway guide. Sem, sem problema. <laughs> All right then. And with that, see you on the next aeronautic video. Muito obrigado e falou.